Because this guy's literally been following me in circles yes, for like 40 minutes and I've been reporting it. A Vancouver woman who shared a video of a man following her for 40 minutes through the streets of Chinatown last week has now been dealing with another challenge. Since she went public with the incident, Jamie Coots has received thousands of supportive messages, but also lots of negative ones too. I would say there was close to 30,000 messages. Um, within that, there was luckily only about maybe maybe 30 or 40 really negative hurtful messages. Coots has reported the hateful messages to the Vancouver Police Department. Officers say they are aware of the messages and are working with Coots to create a safety plan. It's mostly name calling um, for the negative messages. Um, there was one quite descriptive threatening message um, that is currently being dealt with. Experts say they're not surprised to hear that Coots is receiving negative messages after the incident. Unfortunately, this is a very well-worn path where uh, when historically, and I'm talking about uh, for at least the last 100 years, whenever women would bring forward concerns about sexual harassment, sexualized violence, or street harassment, uh, women were dismissed outright, uh, their experiences were denied, uh, or minimized, or they were blamed. And he's literally just standing behind me, and I don't know his issue. But in the same way social media can be used to spread negativity, it can also be used to voice awareness about important issues. Obviously, social media is, is, has some real benefits as well. I mean, this allowed um, Jamie Coots to get her story out there. This is something that if, you know, she hadn't had access to a cell phone, a social media account, um, is something that, you know, maybe she would have reported to police and nothing would have happened. Um, whereas now it sounds like there's an active investigation. So, you know, it can obviously be a way for um women and girls and other marginalized people who uh, face sort of systemic racism or sexism to document this and, and share what's happening with those who might not otherwise believe them. Over the weekend, police said they had identified a person of interest in the case, but Coots says she was shown a photo of the man who was in custody and does not believe it's the same man that followed her. They did give me photographs and I did not recognize any of them. While she is facing some negativity and working through her own anxieties after the frightening experience, Coot says she doesn't regret sharing it. Luckily, I came out um, unharmed physically and um, I, I have absolutely no regrets. Every little bit counts, even if it's just a story that's similar to mine. Um, even if it's not similar to mine, just a story, um, it's so important to, to report it. As of Wednesday, police say there are no updates to the case. In Vancouver, Miranda Fatour, City News.